In a city where traffic is as inevitable as sunlight, everyone hopes for a ride that will zip through all the conversation. But there are very few things that can do that. While motorcycles are capable of doing that, they require a license both for you and the bike, and they are quite expensive. Cycles, while they, are, they don't require a license and cheap, they're exhausting to use. But there's a compromise. It's called an e-bike. An e-bike has both a battery to assist you with the paddling, but at the same time has a paddle so you can use it when you need to. However, the big problem with e-bike is the price. The lithium-ion battery isn't cheap. This e-bike with the lithium-ion battery will cost you somewhere around 100,000 K, or that was true a few years back. Now, there are some local competitors, such as RFL's Duronto, who are bringing in bikes that are half the cost. Which, one of which we have here today, it's called the Duranto E-Rider 201. The, currently, the Duranto lineup has two bikes. First, the Duranto E-Rider 101 and this top shelf model, the Duranto E-Rider 201. Being a top of the top shelf model, it has a few nice touches. For example, the, the frame is alloy, the wheels are alloy. Uh, the, some of the parts are from reputed OEM aftermarket par, aftermarket suppliers, such as the gearbox and the gear gearbox and the sprockets are from Shimano, while the brakes are from another supplier that, for some reason, I cannot remember the name right now. Give me a second. It's I will put it on the screen. Beside that, uh, the main the party trick of this bike is this: the 10 point. 2 amp power battery that's powering the 250 watt hour DC hub motor. Uh, combined, they produce around that they produce a range of 225 km assisted and can reach a top speed of 25 km per hour. The battery is detachable and you can bring it out. However, getting it out of the frame requires a bit of physical exercise, and if we do shoot the B-roll, we'll show you how difficult it is. Beside that, charging the battery is pretty straightforward. You can either take this cover off and plug in the 2 amp charger, or you can just take the entire battery out and charge it, charge it at your home. There is a nice security feature that lets you lock in the charger with the bike, so you don't have to worry about the battery being stolen. However, while they did give the battery a lock, they didn't give the bike a lock, so you have to invest in a quality bike lock if you want to use it every day and everywhere. As for switch gear, there is a nice battery indicator that tells you how much charge you have. There is a nice assist for switching gear. There is a power button that turns on and off the electric battery and there is a horn, electric horn and a headlight. Headlight which is the headlight while it's powerful is a bit too high angle for you to use to see the road. It's more serves it's more serves in a way to let other people know you're on the you are here. And the horn, while loud, has another problem. It, it draws power directly from the battery, which means if there's no battery or if it's dead, you have no horn. A mechanical, battery, mechanical backup would have been a nice touch. Beside that, Duranto does give you a mud guard to stop mud from being split. And overall, it's a pretty nice bike to ride. Let's talk about riding experience. Being a stylish, sporty bike, it has a very narrow saddle, which while looks good, does have a problem, which is it digs onto your posterior if you spend a prolonged amount of time in it. However, being a normal saddle, you can just swap it out with a, by undoing a single bolt. So that's not much of an issue. One nice touch Duranto da did give is the double side stand, which considering this bike is quite heavy, especially with the two kilo, two and a half kilogram battery over here, makes parking much easier than it would just with a single stand. Now, as for operating the electric motor, there's two ways to do it. First, you turn on the power, power supply. Then you can either A, twist the throttle, or you can just pedal and the battery will kick in after one or two turns. And as someone who has, haven't ridden a bike since university, I have very, exper a very little experience regarding cycle. So we gave this bike to our camera guide to experience how it's like to live with it. Unfortunately, him being more camera shy than luxury car owners during election year, I just have to paraphrase what he told to me. Gad said, I did drove it, but nowhere as much as he did. Now, 
According to him, the Duranto makes commuting a breeze. It cuts down his commute time by half, it made his life a lot easier, and overall, he enjoyed the time he had with it. The front suspension, according to him, is very soft and comfortable and covers most bumps with zero ease. However, since there is no rear suspension, anything you hit with that will rattle up your spine. The brakes, being, uh, being supplied by an aftermarket OEM, is very nice and stops the bike very nicely. Besides that, the 250 kWh motor is good and comfortable. Uh, and can handle lets you and the throttle lets you handle steep incline with very relative ease. That said, when the battery is out of juice, the sheer weight of the bike makes it rather difficult to use it as a normal cycle. However, you can do it, and the gearbox does make it relatively easy when you get up to speed. All right, let's talk about the elephant in the room: the price at fifty-eight thousand taka. This bike is significantly more expensive than many premium bikes you can buy without a battery. However, with a battery, it's about half of what you would pay for an European-made electric bike. Which, this bike actually matches in quality because, according to RFL, they are exporting a version of this or something very similar to this for a German manufacturer. For that price, you get a bike that is stylish, relatively comfortable, assuming you change the seat, has quality parts, and will make your commuting a lot easier than whatever old beat up RX100 you can find in the second hand market for the same price. If you don't have a license or you don't want to deal with the nightmare of owning a second hand bike, this could be a good option for you, assuming you stay off the highway. As someone who's used to the motorcycle, I'm less used to using the pedal and more to the throttle. But this bike even without the throttle, as a habit of kicking off when you least expect it to. Granted, it's something you can get used to pretty easily, but as a motorcycle user, my biggest problem is the lack of rear view mirrors. I know cyclists don't usually need it, but I wish we had it because it would make my life a hell of a lot easier. Also, the gears are a bit hard to reach from the throttle. Which, granted, again, something I'll get used to eventually. Overall, as someone who's... An electric bike has a relative learning curve compared to your normal average bike. But that said, that's not boring and it is quite fun to ride. However, there is one glaring issue with this bike, namely the warranty. For a reason that is unknown to us, Duranto only offers 6 months warranty for the electrical components. That means the battery, the motor and everything else. This actually raises question about how much Duranto have faith in their bike because half a year of warranty for electrical components isn't really confidence boosting for anyone. That said, this might change in the future and if it does, we would recommend that you consider this bike if you're in the market for e-bike. That is all. Thank you. <laughs>